Hello, this is Ryan and today I would like to share with you a very simple dessert recipe. It is called leche flan. Some call it creme caramel or simply caramel custard. There are many kinds of flan and this is my Filipino version of it. It's usually steamed but today I will show you a different way of making it. So let's put this together. First, preheat your oven to uh, 325 degrees Fahrenheit. While the oven is warming up in a mixing bowl, add in the evaporated milk. Condensed milk. Add in the whole eggs. And then the egg yolks. Vanilla paste. one half of the lime zest. That's good. And I also like to add a pinch of salt just to balance the sweetness of the flan. What I'm gonna do now is mix it with a hand blender. Mix this until it's well incorporated. this on the side and while this one is uh, setting up I'm gonna make the caramel for it into the saucepan add about one cup of uh, granulated sugar one half cup of water or until it's in wet sand consistency caramelize this over high heat until uh, it's rich golden brown. Set my aluminum cups here. And that's where I'm gonna pour in my uh, caramelized sugar. The reason I have this uh, water in the brush is because you know it tends to get burned on the side first. I'm going to spray my aluminum cups with vegetable spray so it makes it easier to take out when you plate it. browns on the side first and you don't want to burn that. So what I do is simply brush it with water. Alright, as soon as it turns light brown, uh, turn off the, the sugar will continue to cook. You don't want to burn it. Slowly mix it. Pour this into the aluminum cups. Now is uh, make a garnish. I'm gonna put this on the side. This one is really hard and it's very difficult to wash. What it. I do is I add the water, more water, and I bring this to a boil over high heat, covered, until all the crystallized sugar is melted. See? It's so hard. So what I'm gonna do next is pour the uh, custard mixture into the aluminum cups. Mix the uh, custard mixture first. Next, transfer them into the cake pan. You can also use a uh, sheet pan. Add some water. 3 4 cup the rim of the aluminum cups. So what I'm gonna do now is bake this in the oven at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for about one and a half hours. Alright, um, this has been boiling and it has um, melted out all the crystallized sugar. 
turn off the heat, let it cool down. It's just so much easier to wash it. Alright, this has been baked in the oven for the last one and a half hours at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. What I'm gonna do now is store them in the fridge for at least four hours or even better, uh, overnight to let it set. And I'm gonna show you the rest after that. Uh, this has been set in the fridge for the last four hours. Put this on the center of the plate. I like to torch it. Uh, just to make sure that the caramelized sugar is melted. Poke this with the tip of your knife. Just like that, just to release some air. And slowly pull this up. Garnish it with a fresh raspberry. On the side of the plate, garnish it with candied sugar. Fresh meat on top of that, just like that. And it's done. My version of Legit Plan.